Well, if you shop, or bank online, if you have a social media account, even if you sign up for a neighborhood rewards program, you may well have had your personal data compromised at some point, but you may not know it. Until now, there's been no legal requirement for Canadian companies to report data hacks. Starting today, Ottawa is making that mandatory. But as Jacqueline Hansen reports, critics say the new rules fall short. It's not just large corporations, even small businesses like these ones will be bound by the new rules. Whether it's personal medical information stored at drugstores or email addresses collected by every other retailer, hacks have to be reported and anyone affected must be notified. But not all breaches will meet the bar, only those that cause significant harm. The Privacy Commissioner's Office says that means anything from humiliation to financial loss or identity theft. And it's up to businesses to assess the risk based on the sensitivity of the data and its potential for misuse. But critics say the new rules leave too much to interpretation. Plus, some business owners may not be ready for or even aware of the new reporting requirements. What are the priorities for them running their business? It's getting customers through the door. There's a postal strike right now, so that's a challenge for them. Making sure that they have enough uh, in their payroll for employees at the end of the month. Those are the sort of challenges that business owners are faced with right now. Wondering about whether the data that they contain, how minimal or large it may be, is protected is really just at the bottom of their to-do list at this point. Canada's regulations follow changes made last spring by the European Union. There, a company is required to report a breach within 72 hours. And if it doesn't, it could be fined millions of dollars. Canada's rules aren't as strict or harsh. Businesses here must report as soon as feasible, break the rules, and the maximum fine is just $100,000. Still, it could be a costly wake-up call for companies that may have otherwise left Canadians in the dark. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.